What up, world? My name is Nicholas Coriano. I want to share with you guys some industry statistics for home care providers in the United States. In this video, I'm going to go over the competitive landscape and some of the things that are happening with the major players and the minor players in the home care providers industry in the United States. So just some things that you should, should be thinking about if you're trying to start a business. Um, one of the first things you should be thinking about is that the concentration in the industry is low. The barriers to entry are low. There's a lot of participants entering the industry. Um, industries, you know, uh, the three largest industry companies generate less than 10%. So it's a highly fragmented industry. There's a lot of players there. Um, over the next five years, you're going to see a lot of mergers and acquisitions. Uh, these mergers and acquisitions will have happen for major players, consolidating a lot of smaller players, um, and to grow bigger companies, right? So you're going to see a lot of, uh, smaller businesses get bought out in hospice and home healthcare and create bigger companies. Um, so some of the key success factors in home care providers in the U.S., uh, quality control, so making sure that they have quality in their care, the ability to take advantage of government subsidies and other grants, um, Medicare, Medicaid uh, will more than likely be a key to success for all operators, proximity to key markets, so being close and nearby to populations that are aging, uh, specifically the baby boomer populations, um, accreditations. So companies that have accreditations from, you know, healthcare organizations are going to, that's going to be a key factor for success. The ability to attract local support and patronage, that's also going to be a key factor to success. This means referrals from hospitals, physicians, insurers, et cetera, as well as the ability to alter goods and services produced in favor to market conditions. Um, so if you guys don't know, I'm a business plan writer. I have these market research reports and industry analysis reports that I pull up all the time while I'm writing business plans. So I figure I share some of these things with you. Let me share one more thing with you guys. Um, the average profit margin in the industry is seven and a half percent. This means for you know every hundred thousand dollars or seven thousand dollars in actual profit. Um, this is up from six point five percent in 2017. And that trend is about to stay the same over the next five years. So it'll teeter totter between seven and 10 percent. But more than likely, you know, if you're trying to start a business here, factor in that you're going to be around 7% profit margins. Um, total purchases is about 6%. So that means for every hundred thousand dollars, you're going to spend 6% on whatever it is that you're buying, whether it's scrubs, whether it's equipment, um, 6% is the average and less than 1% on marketing. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, utilities, rent, and depreciation account for between two and three percent. Now, this de depends on whether you're buying a home because you're, you're starting a home health care business and people are actually coming to live there or whether you're actually sending out nurses or or therapists to the home of the patient. So keep these things in mind. Again, basis of competition is super high. Um, there's a lot of entries there. There's a lot of entrance there. Uh, concentration, that means you know, the number of players in the market is very low. There's highly fragmented industry and globalization is not a threat. Um, you're less likely to see a global competitor come into the market and compete with you guys. So that's a good thing. So again, this comes from a market research report. If you guys want to download it, I have the link below. If you guys need help with a business plan or a marketing plan for your home care provider uh, business, hit me up. If you think this is helpful to somebody else, share the video to somebody, like the page, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.